we're going into city center because it's the 13th today and that's when we celebrate the Sia in Sweden. I think it is a Swedish thing, but I think the original Lucia is actually from Italy, I think. But here in Sweden, we dress up in white gowns and we put a crown, on, crown of lights on our heads and we sing Christmas carols. So let's see if we can find one tonight. <laughs> So we did find the um, uh, Lucia thing. It wasn't the traditional one. It was more of an ice skating thing, but it was cool anyway. Um, normally, they they look like this, the Lucia celebrations. But this year we did the ice skating, Lucia. And I looked it up and Lucia is actually, it's an Italian thing because she was an Italian saint way back. And we, we celebrated with the, the crown of uh, candles because apparently it represent her walking down in the catacombs where it was really dark and she wanted she needed to have some lights so she put a crown on her head with some lights in it and that way she could have our she could have her hands free to give food to sick people and all that so she was a very good person and that's why we celebrate Lucia it's a festival of lights somehow um, and I liked that it was on, that it was figure skating Lucia, because I think I've told you this before, but when I was a kid, I wanted to be either an, an ice princess or an archaeologist, which is pretty funny because I hate ice skating because I'm really bad at it. Um. But yeah, now I'm all alone at home, so I'm just gonna chill on the couch and we're gonna watch a movie, a classic one, Love Actually. It's what you watch around Christmas.
it is the 23rd afternoon so I just finished work and now I'm gonna go home to my family got the prezzies so we're ready we just need to find the tree <coughs> Dames en heren, deze trein stapt in Arnhem. So, I just got home to my dad. And I gotta show you this. He, uh, he bought a tree. Because we did pick a tree. Where's the light? Huh. We did pick a tree last time I was home, but that one is out in the yard. So he bought a tree today. And it was one of the last ones and <laughs> I mean it's okay the top is kind of broken but it fixed it check this out so this is the tree it's look it looks good but then <laughs> when you look at the top you realize the top was broken but he fixed it my daddy's one handyman <laughs> Ta -da. So we are gonna go home to my sister's place now because she's having some friends over and I wanna meet Ebba and then we're gonna go come back home and decorate the tree. So I will see you along the way. But it feels good to be back home. Okay. Time for the Christmas tree. <laughs> We're up. Well, here's our tree. Let's see if we can spice it up a little. Oh, yeah, Papa. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. That's all I know. But look. It just started snowing outside. Yee hoo! Because as you can see, most of the snow disappeared. But we got fresh snow coming in. Merry Christmas! I also tried this when I was last time I was home. I usually try and do something like this. This one though looks kind of sad. <laughs> but in my defense, when I was putting the the what do you call skeleton together, I uh, used the hammer. Oi! I put it straight on my thumb. So in all fairness, I was hurting when I did this. But hey, it's a thing. So that's my. My work, my piece of art. Hey, you gotta try, right? So Merry Christmas, everyone. It is the 24th and it's Christmas because in Sweden, we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. I know a lot of you celebrate on the 25th, but we're gonna do both because today I'm gonna celebrate with my mom, dad, and grandma at mom's place and then tomorrow we're gonna celebrate the whole family at my dad's place so I'm gonna eat a lot of food and I st already started to prepare food for tomorrow because since I'm vegan I have to have special food so I'm gonna make some vegan meatballs with chickpeas and stuff in it I'm gonna make some sweet potato fries with cinnamon 
and some little pies with kale and mushrooms in it. And also I'm gonna do a, it's called the Salamanca in Swedish. I do not know the English word. I don't even know if you have it, but it's basically like a porridge thing, only much yummier. So I started doing that today before we leave for mom's place and I'm excited. So Merry Christmas, you guys. I hope you have a great Christmas and I hope you eat until you puke because that's what you're supposed to do. But I will see you later at mom's place. And I bought this for my sister and her boyfriend. It is a replica, well not a replica, but this is how big Ebba was when she was born. It's a scale of 1.1 of Ebba. I thought it was cute. I, mean, I guess it's a thing now because I keep seeing ads about this popping up everywhere. And it's crazy how fast she's growing. Like she's talking now, she's moving around a lot more and she's just too darn cute. So I hope they like it. Proof that I'm the favorite child. There's one present under the tree. And whose name is it? It's mine. <laughs> Best Christmas song ever. And folks dressed up like Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe. So what do you think? Is this a yes or a no? Let's find out. They're not the most aesthetic pleasing pies, but I mean, I guess it works. We'll find out tomorrow. Huh. Good morning. Today is the 25th, so all you Americans, Merry Christmas. Look what happened last night. We got so much snow now. That's nice. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to talk about it. Well, that's all for this year. What a year we've had. We've done some amazing things. And I hope you have a great Christmas and a great New Year and I hope that next year will be the best year. So we only have one thing left. Ah. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!